So last month, my kids, uh, we found out that my kids had inherited a cattle ranch in the middle of nowhere, but only if we went and worked it for a full year. I told them we could not do that. I have a job. I cannot pay the bills. We don't know how to run a cattle ranch. They convinced me to go just for the summer, and they said we could try it and see what we think. So I asked my work if I could do remote work for the summer, and they agreed. So now we're driving out. I have four kids, and so we're all driving out to the middle of nowhere, and we're almost there. The GPS keeps cutting out because it's the middle of nowhere, and um, I know that we're like maybe a quarter mile away, and we had just stopped to get groceries from, I'm not kidding, the True Value Hardware Store, which is the closest grocery store, and so my car is full of all of our crap for the summer for me and all four kids and all kinds of groceries piled up on top of us. And my son fumbles and the, the apples roll off the top of the bag and underneath the um, car. So I have to stop, right? It's not safe to have apples rolling around in there. And I'm trying to fish out the apples and I finally get the two apples that have fallen. I'm holding them in one hand and I look up and this guy who apparently is our next door neighbor um, is mowing his lawn shirtless. Now I'm a 40 year old widow. And uh, so seeing a shirtless guy, I mean, I'm past that, right? Except this guy was really hot. And I thought, well, he's probably way too young and I'm super pervy for even looking. But then he looked up and he met my eye and I realized he's like my age. And then he smiled. And I was like, oh, so I chuck the apples at my son who dropped them in the first place and I speed off, right? No big deal. That's embarrassing, but I probably will not see this guy much because it's a ranch. So it's not like our neighbors are right there and I'm going to be borrowing milk or something. So, um, so like no big deal, except we get to the ranch and I find out that it has no internet. I'm not kidding. Not just like crappy, bad internet, no internet. Apparently the guy who owned it before didn't care about internet because he was like a seven year old rancher or 80 year old rancher. I don't know. So now I have no way to do my work remotely, which I have to do. I have briefs that I need to file. So I ask the ranch hands where the closest internet is. And guess what? It's my neighbor, hot shirtless lawn mowing smile at me with a knowing smile neighbor. So I have to go over there and be like, hey dude, can I borrow your internet today? I am not looking forward to it.